So if we think about um, a, a, a small region, and that region has a, s a specific landscape, so it could have trees in the landscape, it could have grasses, it, it could be a range of different vegetation types. And what happens is that the, those, ve the, those vegetation, if we have trees, they tend to slow the wind down and they, they produce turbulent eddies. Um, but, so if those trees are actually removed from the landscape and that landscape is converted just to, to grassland, those trees are no longer there. They're no longer influencing the local climate. And so we start to see that when there are severe winds coming through those regions, those windbreaks are no longer there. If we remove all of the vegetation from a particular location, we change the soil, we, we change the reflectivity of the surface, and we call this the albedo. So the albedo, basically, if we want to describe that, is how much of the sun's energy the surface can absorb. So very dark surfaces can get very hot because they absorb a lot of the sun's radiation. Uh, very light surfaces tend to reflect a lot of that energy. And so if we convert land from, say, grassland, which would have a very sort of uh, high albedo because it's quite light, to very dark um, soils, we're changing the energy dynamics, we're changing the albedo. And what happens is that those surfaces become very hot and then at night they radiate all of that energy back into the atmosphere. They do that during the day and they, that can create atmospheric instability. And we see atmospheric instability happen all the time. So if you stand and you watch a thunderstorm and you watch those, thunder, th those thunderclouds grow and grow, that's atmospheric instability in action. So if we change the vegetation, we change the land use, we change those very localised impacts on the broader, large-scale um, atmospheric circulation. And that's why land clearing does have an impact on, um, on these extreme events. And in some instances, it can enhance those extreme events. Where land clearing doesn't enhance those extreme events, what it can do is it, it can actually make those localised regions more sensitive or susceptible to those extreme events when they occur. So if we go back to the example of taking vegetation out of the landscape and leaving it as bare soil, if we have an extreme rainfall event, there's no longer the trees and the grasses to slow that rain as it flows over the ground. So that rain flows over the ground, it, it, it erodes the soil, it takes the soil away into the streams and there's sediment in the water. So those are the sort of interactions that we see.